can I beat Dragon Ball Z team training with only Saiyans? The rules are simple. I can only use Saiyans in battle, and they must be at least half Saiyan. If I need a fighter for an HM, then I can use them, just not in battle. So without further ado, let's begin. The first thing I did was go to Dr. Priest's lab to get my first fighter. I had three choices, Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan. I chose Vegeta and challenged my rival to a battle, but the Prince of All Saiyans was more than a match for his half-breed fighter. After the battle, I retrieved Brief's parcel and returned to him. Now the journey can truly begin. On the way to the first gym, I had to go through North Forest, which was no problem. I only had to battle one trainer that had a level 9 piccolo, but a gallant gun and a punch took him out. On Route 2, I got my first two fighters, Raditz and Turles. And after a training arc, I was ready for the gym. The first gym leader is Yajirobe, and he uses Saiyans like me. Yajirobe's Raditz kicked my Turles and Vegeta's ass, but Vegeta was able to take care of him. After Raditz, Yajirobe sent out Nappa, and I sent out my Raditz. Nappa kicked my ass back to training, I guess. After some quick training, I was able to beat Nappa with a few punches and a Gallic gun. On the way to Mount Moon, Vegeta transformed into a Super Saiyan. I got the fourth member of the team, Nappa. I'm a- Oh, come on, now. After buying Chonsu and putting him in the PC, I headed into Mount Moon. Inside Mount Moon, I got the fifth member of the team, the mighty Uzaru. Team Pilaf was in Mount Moon looking for a Dragon Ball, and after taking care of them, I got the three-star Dragon Ball. On to Namek Town. While I was walking around Namek Town, I encountered my rival. His cooler was a higher level, but lucky for me, my Raditz took him out. After that was Zarbon, so I switched in my Uzaru. Uzaru wasn't strong enough, so I switched in Super Saiyan Vegeta and took down Zarbon with a final flash and a punch. Vegeta wasn't looking too good, so I switched in Turles, but the Uzaru was too strong and took out Turles, Nappa, and Raditz. So I sacrificed my Uzaru to heal Vegeta, and Vegeta was able to take out the Uzaru with one mighty punch. All that was left was Super Saiyan Gohan, and with just three final flashes and a punch, Gohan went down. It was clear to me that I wasn't strong enough for the gym, so it was time for another training arc. After my training arc, I stopped by Leon's house and got the SS ticket. Now off to the gym leader, Murray. His first fighter was Ginyu. It took some work, but... My Uzaru was able to take out Ginyu. Next up was Frieza, so I switched out Turles. Frieza nearly took Turles out, so I switched in Vegeta and used Big Bang Attack. Frieza managed to take out Vegeta, but not without taking some damage, so I sent in Raditz and finished him off. Two badges down, six to go. After my fight with Murray, I stopped by the SSN to get the HM cut. While on the ship, I encountered my rival before I could get cut. Nappa did some damage, but so did Cooler, so I switched in Uzaru to finish him off. Zarbon was up next. Zarbon went down with just two tail smashes. Gary was tired of my shit, so he sent in his own Uzaru. My Uzaru did some damage, but I had to switch out Turtles, and Turtles was able to put down the Uzaru. All that was left was Super Saiyan Gohan. I sent in Raditz, which was a mistake because Gohan took him out in just two hits, so I sent in Vegeta and hit him with a big bang attack and a final flash and finished him off with a punch. After catching a bio man and teaching him cut, I used RR Cave to go back to Route 2 to catch another Turles. It's a surprise tool that will help us later. I then used the Moonstone I found to turn Turles into an Uzaru. I then traded that Uzaru with a girl in the underground path for a slug. And finally, I traded that slug for a Kid Gohan back on Route 2. And after training Gohan, I was ready for the gym. The gym leader was General Red. His first fighter was Cyborg 18. My Raditz did some damage, but took just as much, so I switched in my Uzaru. But General Red cheated and healed his fighter. So I had to switch again, this time for the big guns. Vegeta. Vegeta finished off Cyborg 18, so I gave Kid Gohan a turn. Gohan took out Cyborg 17 in just three energy punches. But Gohan wasn't looking good, so I switched in Vegeta to take care of Android 16. 
Vegeta did some damage, but I had to sacrifice some fighters to heal Uzaru to secure the victory. Three badges down, five to go. On the way to Rock Tunnel, I found the six-star Dragon Ball on Route 10. After barely making it out of Rock Tunnel, it was time for a filler arc. While I was getting ready to take on Kami's Tower, I found the seven-star Dragon Ball on Route 8. I caught King Vegeta. I decided to kick Nappa off the team. Him and Raditz just can't pull their weight anymore. Inside Kami's tower was my rival, and he was looking for another fight. Uzaru took out Cooler, but took a lot of damage, and I forgot to record. I switched in Kid Gohan and took out his Zarbon with a few energy punches, but Gohan took some damage. This fight might be close. Next up is Uzaru. So I switched in Super Saiyan Vegeta and took him out with a big bang attack. Gary sent out Android 13, who had a nice trucker hat but was no match for Raditz. All that was left was Super Saiyan Gohan. Raditz wasn't able to do much damage to him, so it was all up to Vegeta. And with a big bang attack and a final flash, it was over. I found Mr. Popo in Kami's tower, but some invisible force was blocking my path, so I went to West City. In West City, I did some grinding and won Future Trunks at the game corner. But that means it's time to say goodbye to Raditz. And with a bit of training, Future Trunks transformed into a Super Saiyan. After catching a Team Gohan on Route 7, I was ready to take on Team Pilaf's base. While in Pilaf's base, Team Gohan became a Super Saiyan. After getting the lift key, I was ready to take on the boss of Team Pilaf. Pilaf led with Tambourine, and I led with Mayuzaru. Believe it or not, Tambourine died quickly. Next up was Piccolo, so I sent in my Super Saiyan Future Trunks. Piccolo fired a special beam cannon and one-shot my trunks, so I sent in my kid Gohan and took him out with a energy punch. Pilaf's last fighter was King Piccolo, but kid Gohan took him out in two energy punches. After beating Pilaf, I went back to Kami's tower where I encountered Garlic. After beating Garlic, Kami thanked us and gave us an ocarina. Now there was one thing left to do, then the filler arc would be over. It's time to push Team Pilaf out of Capsule Corp. In Capsule Corp, I ran into my rival, Gary. He wanted to battle, and from the start, I realized I was underleveled. Oh no! After having my ass handed to me, I did some training. While I was training, Vegeta transformed into Majin Vegeta. After some training, I had a rematch with Gary. He led with Super Cooler, and I led with Team Gohan. Gohan did some damage with Energy Punch, but Cooler took him out with a Death Beam. So I switched in Uzaru. But Cooler just one-shot him, so I sent in Vegeta, hoping to outspeed him. Vegeta wasn't faster, but he was able to take out Cooler. Up next was Zarbon 2, so I sent in Future Trunks, who was killed in two hits. Kid Gohan didn't do much better, so my only chance at winning was Vegeta. Zarbon went down to a final flash, and Gary sent out his Uzaru and took out my Vegeta. After some more strategic play, Kid Gohan killed the Uzaru, and out came Super Android 13. Vegeta was able to barely take out Android 13, and all that was left was Ultimate Gohan. During one of my many attempts at this fight, Team Gohan became a Super Saiyan 2. And after many failed attempts, I finally won by having Vegeta use Explosion. Now all that was left was the rematch with Pilaf. First up was Garlic, who went down to one energy punch, and the same goes for Tambourine. But Super Piccolo took two big bang attacks to go down. And King Piccolo went down to one energy punch. After beating Pilaf, I got the 5 star Dragon Ball. And with that, the filler arc was over. After beating Team Pilaf, I used the time machine on the second floor of Capsule Corp to turn Kid Gohan into a future Gohan. Now I was ready for the gym. The fourth gym leader was Bulma. Bulma led with Imperfect Cell and I led with Future Trunks. Future Trunks took out Cell with 3 Finish Busters. But took a lot of damage, so I switched in Super Saiyan to Gohan. And Bulma sent out Imperfect Cell. Gohan killed Cell with just two Kamehamehas. And up next was Bulma's last fighter, a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So I sent out my Uzaru, which did not go as planned, so I sent in Vegeta next. And Vegeta took him out with one big bang attack. Four badges down, four to go. After defeating Bulma, I used some tea to go to Satan City and was ready for the 5th gym. While I was in the 5th gym, Future Gohan became a Super Saiyan. And the 5th gym leader was Mr. Satan. He led with Super Saiyan Gotenks, and I led with Future Trunks. 
But let's switch to Vegeta. Vegeta took out Goten with a big bang attack and a punch. But I forgot to record it and I'm not doing Bulma's gym again for 3 seconds of footage. Up next was Super Saiyan Trunks. So I sent in my Uzaru. Uzaru did some damage with Crush but took a lot so I switched in Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And then Mr. Satan cheated and healed Trunks. But Gohan took Trunks out with just one energy punch. Next came Fat Boo. And again, Gohan took him out in one energy punch. All that was left was Boo Tanks, who took two energy punches to go down. Five badges down, three to go. While I was doing some training on Route 12, I found Herutagon and used the Ocarina to wake him. I sent in Vegeta in the hopes of ending this fight fast, and with a final flash and two big bang attacks, it was over. After beating Herutagon, I made it to Ginger Town. I decided to get HM03 before taking on the 6th gym. While in the Safari Zone, I found Surf and the Gold Teeth. And for making it to the secret base, I was given the Shell Bell that would let me use Surf without teaching it to a fighter. But first, I had to beat the 6th gym. The 6th gym leader was Bobbity. Bobbity sent out Poi Poi, and I sent out Future Gohan. And Poi Poi went down in one energy punch. Up next was Yakon, so I sent out Uzaru. Uzaru took out Yakon in three punches, but not without taking some damage. Bobby sent out Debora, so I sent out Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, and took Debora down in one energy punch. Bobby's last fighter was Kid Buu. Kid Buu did some damage, but went down like Debora. Six badges down, two to go. I went back to Route 15 and caught Goten and Trunks. Before I left for the next gym, I gave the gold teeth to the old man and got HM04 and was ready to leave. But when I tried teaching a fighter strength, the game just went black. And after several minutes, the game came back, only the audio was completely fucked. Have a listen. It sounds like something out of a creepypasta. I learned that it was the house that was the problem. So whatever you do, don't pause in that house. The first thing I did when I got to Roshi's Island was go to the science lab and fuse Goten and Trunks into Gotenks. Next up was to do some training. While training, I found the two-star Dragon Ball on Route 20. While training, Gotenks became a Super Saiyan, and after training, I went to challenge the gym. But the door was locked, so I went to Enigma Mansion to look for Master Roshi. After getting the key, I was ready to take on Master Roshi for the 7th gym badge. After passing an easy test, it was time to battle Master Roshi. Roshi led with Krillin, and I sent out Vegeta. That fight went about as you expect. Next was Super Saiyan Gotenks, and I sent in Future Gohan. I was able to get him to low yellow before he took out future Gohan with a dynamite kick. I sent out Uzaru, then Roshi cheated and healed Gotenks. Gotenks knocked out Uzaru, but I was able to get him back to low yellow. I sent in Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, but Roshi healed Gotenks again. But a mock punch and an energy punch killed Gotenks. Then came Buhan, and he killed Gohan with a Super Kamehameha. I didn't want to lose this close to victory, so I sent in Vegeta. But Boo one-shot him, Trunks, and Gotenks. And after some strategic play, or as I like to call it, letting Super Saiyan 2 Gohan one-shot everyone, I made it back to Buhan. Gohan got him to red before dying, but Roshi healed. But Vegeta took out Buhan with two energy punches. All that was left was... Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and with one energy punch, Goku went down, proving that Vegeta is stronger, and getting me my 7th gym badge. Only one more badge, and then I can phase the Elite Four. After beating Master Roshi, I headed back to Aru Village to take on the final gym. After making it to Aru Village, I headed straight to the gym. The final gym leader was the boss of Team Pilaf. Pilaf's first fighter 
was Super Piccolo, and mine was Gotenks. Piccolo used Sky Uppercut and got Gotenks to half health, but Gotenks did some damage with Diving Kick. Piccolo missed his next attack, and Gotenks finished him off. Next up was Garlic 2, so I switched in Future Gohan and took him out in one energy punch. Pilaf sent out Kid Buu and did a bit of damage and took five energy punches to go down because Pilaf kept using Z drinks to heal. Pilaf was tired of my shit, so he sent out Hirudagon and took out future Gohan. I sent in Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and took out Hirudagon and two Kamehamehas. But it wasn't over yet. Hirudagon transformed and took out Gohan, but not without taking some serious damage. I sent in Vegeta, and he finished it off in one Big Bang attack. Now with all 8 gym badges, all that was left was the Elite 4. On my way to the Elite 4, I ran into my rival Gary. His first fighter was the Golden Uzaru, and he destroyed my Gotenks. So I sent out future Gohan. Gohan got off 2 energy punches before dying, so I sent in Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. To finish off the Golden Uzaru with a Mach Punch. Next came Zarbon 2, but he went down to one energy punch after that was Super Cyborg 13, who took two energy punches to go down. Next up was Metal Cooler. Gohan got off two energy punches before falling to a death ball. Next I sent in the Uzaru and took out Cooler with the Uzaru Beam. Gary wasn't playing around anymore and sent out Ultimate Gohan, so I switched in Majin Vegeta. One attack from Gohan left Vegeta on 7 HP, so I used Explosion to take out Gohan. But that didn't work. My only hope was Uzaru. But Gohan took him and Future Trunks out in one hit. This clearly isn't working, so I'm going to train for a while. While training, Gotenks becomes a Super Saiyan 3. After getting back to Gohan, Vegeta took him out with two energy punches. But just one punch from Gohan almost took out Vegeta. Next was Metal Cooler. Cooler killed Vegeta with a dash attack, so I sent in future Gohan and killed him with a Masenko. Gary's last fighter was Perfect Cell. Cell didn't do much damage, but he took seven energy punches to go down because he kept on healing. Now with that done, nothing stood between me and the Elite Four. While training, I found a shiny Frieza, and Uzaru transformed into Golden Uzaru, and Trunks transformed into Super Saiyan Rage Trunks. And with the last bit of training done, and all my fighters at level 50, I was ready for the Elite Four. But before that, I found the Four Star Dragon Ball on Route 23. I decided that I should get the last Dragon Ball, so I went back to Red Ribbon Base and found the one star Dragon Ball on a truck. Now with all seven Dragon Balls, I go back to Kami's Tower to summon Shenron. I asked Shenron to bring back Toriyama, but that was beyond his power. So I asked him to become XP and Trunks killed Shenron into Dragon Rushes. But Shenron did some damage and almost killed Trunks with a Dragon Beam. Now onto the Elite Four. The first member of the Elite Four was East Kai. East Kai's first fighter was Aqua. Trunks missed his first attack, so I got hit by Aqua's Key Blast, but that apparently pissed off Trunks because he killed all of East Kai's fighters in one hit. Next up was South Kai. His first fighter was Torby. You remember him, right? Trunks nearly killed him in one Dragon Rush, and Torby retaliated with an Energy Punch, and did a good bit of damage. And just when I was about to finish him off with Air Slash, South Kai did a little bit of trolling and used the Sensu Beam. But Trunks' high speed allowed him to get off two Air Slashes and kill Torby. After beating Torby, Trunks took out Tapion, Spolvovich, and King Cold, all in one hit. Then out came South Kai's last fighter, the Golden Uzaru. Trunks' Dragon Rush didn't even do half damage, 
The Azari then killed Trunks with a body slam, so I sent in Vegeta and used Final Flash, which did less damage than I wanted it to. Azari used Crush and took out almost half my health, all while eating a citrus berry. Vegeta used Energy Punch and almost killed the Uzaru, but the Uzaru used Crush and left Vegeta on 2 HP. On top of all that, South Kai used another Sensu Bean. Luckily, Energy Punches get stronger the more they're used, and Vegeta was able to outspeed Uzaru and kill it in two Energy Punches. On to West Kai. West Kai's first fighter was Pycon. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan killed him in two energy punches. And next up was Super Piccolo, who went down to one Dragon Rush. After that was Garlic 2, but again, one Dragon Rush took him out. Next was Kid Buu. Kid Buu used Planet Burst, taking almost half my health. But again, one Dragon Rush and he was dead. West Kai sent out his last fighter, Hirutagon 2, and killed Gohan in one attack. I sent in Vegeta and used Explosion, which put Hirutagon at half health. But he had a Citrus Berry. After Vegeta's death, I sent out Golden Uzaru. Hirutagon used Phantom, but Uzaru was able to take it and fire off an Uzaru Beam, which nearly killed Hirutagon. But West Kai used a Sensu Beam. But with three more Uzaru beams, Herodagon 2 fell, and with that, there was only one Kai left. After healing my team, I was ready for the North Kai. North Kai's first fighter was Olib, and mine was Trunks. Trunks used Dragon Rush and nearly killed Olib, but Olib used Counter and killed Trunks. So I sent out Future Gohan and killed Olib with one energy punch. Next up was Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Goku used Kamehameha and took out half my health. Gohan was able to get off an energy punch before dying to another Kamehameha. Next I sent out Gotenks. Gotenks was able to take a Kamehameha and almost killed Goku with a ghost kamikaze attack. But North Kai used a Sensu Beam. Gotenks used a Kamehameha of his own. It didn't do as much damage as I wanted it to, and Goku started charging up a Spirit Bomb. If he could launch that, I'm screwed. Luckily, Gotenks got a crit and kills Goku in one Ghost Kamikaze attack. North Kai sends out his own Gotenks, but mine lands the first hit. The foe's Gotenks use Dynamite Kick, but misses. But I also miss my next attack. The foe's Gotenks lands his next attack, killing my Gotenks. So I sent out Super Saiyan to Gohan, and almost kill him with a Dragon Rush. Gotenks misses his next attack, and is killed with another Dragon Rush. North Kai's next fighter was Gogeta. Gogeta puts Gohan at half health with one Sky Uppercut. Gohan is able to do a bit of damage with Dragon Rush, but is killed by another Sky Uppercut. Next I sent out Uzaru. And after taking two Stardust, I killed Gogeta with two Uzaru Beams. This was it, just one fighter left and I would have beaten the Elite Four. North Kai's last fighter was Vegito. Now, I'm not proud of this, but after several attempts, the only way I could beat him was to heal another fighter and wait for an opening. Eventually, I got it and killed Vegeta in two explosions. Eventually, I got it and killed Vegito in two explosions. This is it. The only thing standing in my way now was Gary. Gary's first fighter was Golden Uzaru, and mine was Trunks. Trunks went first and used Dragon Rush, 
and the Uzaru retaliated with wrath. Trunks was able to get off one more Dragon Rush before dying. Next up, Gotenks. Gotenks almost killed Uzaru with a Kamehameha, but Gary used a Sensu Bean. Gotenks then took almost half the Uzaru's health with a Kamehameha. Uzaru used Wrath and put Gotenks at half health. Gotenks used another Kamehameha to get Uzaru to low yellow, but the Uzaru's Wrath killed Gotenks, so I sent in Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, who killed the Uzaru with one Dragon Rush. Next up was Zarbon 2, but Gohan killed him in two Dragon Rushes. After that was Super Cyborg 13. Gohan was able to do some damage with Dragon Rush, but 13 killed him with a Dynamite Kick. Next I sent out Future Gohan. Gohan was able to use two Energy Punches, but died to a Dynamite Kick and a Key Blast. I was running out of fighters, so I sent in Vegeta in the hopes of a fast victory, but Gary used the Sensu Bean. Vegeta used Energy Punch and got stronger, and was able to kill 13 in one more attack. Then out came the fighter I feared, Ultimate Gohan. Vegeta got a crit and one-shot Gohan. Next up was Metal Cooler. Cooler used Dash Attack and did some damage, but Vegeta put him in the red with one punch. But Gary still had Sensu Beans. One more punch put Cooler in the yellow, but Gary used another Sensu Bean. I used Energy Punch again and brought Cooler to red. Cooler used Dash Attack, but it was too late. One more Energy Punch and Cooler was dead. Now all that was left was Perfect Cell, who went down with two Energy Punches but not before giving me a heart attack. And with that, I beat Dragon Ball Z Team Training with only Saiyans. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll join us next time when we take on Can I Beat Mega Man X3 without special weapons or armor upgrades.